Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. As I've mentioned uh, in the last episode, I recorded this, and <laughs> the audio crapped out on me. So, if you missed the last one, this is what happened. So, unfortunately, I'm very sorry, but you're going to have to live with a silent uh, battle, and uh, otherwise miss absence, con conspicuous absence of noises, because I'm just, uh, I am just re-recording the audio. And I'm not chucking the whole thing because I actually found the battle to be quite nice in terms of what it, uh, it was demonstrating what I'm going to talk about. So let's get going. This is the final episode in our little four part series about guns, calibers and ammunition choice. And today we're talking about battleships. So anything from 305 millimeters in the early tiers, actually there are a couple of battle cruises which have about 200 odd millimeter calibers. And a couple of well battleships that are mislabeled, like the Moskva. But um, we're talking about the big guns here, right? So we're talking about the really big calibers. And uh, what ammunition do you choose? Well, rule of thumb is very simple. Um, if uh, what you're going to use is armor piercing against everything but destroyers, and high explosive against destroyers. There are a couple of scenarios where you can actually do full penetrations on destroyers with armor piercing, especially at long range. But um, it, it is not guaranteed. And most of the time, especially if, if you're not at firing at maximum range, you are going to over penetrate and only do for 25% of damage, which even though for, even for ships that have a lower high explosive damage, and I mean, this is the hood, she's a British battleship. So she has actually a relatively respectable high explosive damage. She's not like the Nelson, which actually I would recommend firing high explosive at everything. So the Nelson is one of these, and, a, and um, maybe some of the other British uh, premiums are some of sh the ships that can get away with firing high explosive. Uh, on the hood, I wouldn't, even though she only has 380 mil guns. The armor piercing is actually quite good on this ship. So yes, against destroyers, at anything but point blank, uh, but uh, extreme range, you should fire armor piercing, uh, armor piercing. And yeah, destroyers, high explosive. That doesn't mean if you have already armor piercing loaded and you're seeing a destroyer coming for you, that you should necessarily just um, switch to the armor type because then you're running into the reload and the reload takes well, usually about 20 seconds for a battleship. And in these 20 seconds, you're not shooting at the destroyer with your main guns. So if you already have high explosive uh, armor piercing loaded, by all means, fire, uh, empty your barrels, clean your barrels, fire it at the destroyer. Even if you're just doing over penetrations, you will still do some damage. And then um, switch, to armor, switch to the high explosive on the reload. And yeah, against everything else, uh, fire the armor piercing. With... <sighs> You could debate that some of the Japanese battleships that have uh, trouble with uh, that have trouble with penetrations might be better off firing high explosives, and you can do this. And it's a matter of having to try it out. Um, but I would say probably in about 80, 80 to ninety percent of battles with battleships, you should really be firing the armor piercing at other battleships, at cruisers, and at carriers, and uh, at destroyers, you'll be sticking with a high explosive. So uh, let's go into a battle and see if we can kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. And since we were looking, we've been looking at the hood this whole time, let's take the hood for a spin. All right, yeah. <laughs> four destroyers in the enemy team. Oh dear, <laughs> a, a double Fiji and a Colorado. So there's only one other battleship in the enemy team. Uh, the Fijis. Well, they're light cruisers, they're British light cruisers, so armor piercing definitely. And the destroyers, we're gonna have to, uh, we are gonna have to play with the high explosive most likely because we are going to do more damage. Even though the hood actually does 1600 damage armor piercing and only about 1100 high explosive against the destroyer, she will still do 1100 high explosive, but only about well maybe 400 or less than 400 uh, armor piercing damage. Okay, I'm in the hood. I'm in a very fast ship. Uh, some say she's a bit more of a battle cruiser, but um, you know, I'm in a fast ship, so uh, I've got uh, three destroyers leading me uh, and basically um, screening ahead, so I'm not afraid of anything rushing into A. I'm going to A, and I've got my armor piercing loaded, even though there are four destroyers in the game, because most likely one of the Fijis uh, is going to show up somewhere here as well. And 
while I have two Japanese destroyers, I also have a Gnevni there, hopefully. Um, so I'm not even going to waste my... Uh, I, I, can't, I can't try to. I've got nothing else to shoot at. So I'm going to get some of my piercing shots out at extreme range at the Akatsuki and see if I'm actually going to hit anything. Uh, nope, they're just uh, straddling. But I'm not switching over to the uh, higher explosive because look at that. There's a Fiji. I'm just going to have to wait for my, my main guns to reload. And at some point I'm going to have to make sure that I'm not running into torpedoes. But um, there are three destroyers here and a Fiji. So let's see if we can make the... Fiji destroy, uh, the, the regret his life choices. So I've seen you, Akatsuki, I've seen you, but I want to shoot at a Fiji, but I've taken my speed out and as predicted, the Akka is busy with shooting at other things. So here come my secondaries. And now I'm switching over to high explosive because up oh, there comes some more torpedoes from the other side. Okay, the Akatsuki is down, there's an Anskeda and there's a Fargo who was sneaking by. Sneaky little bugger you are. Well, now I've got the high explosive loaded so I'm just going to make use of the secondaries. The secondaries are not that great on the hood, but um, there come the main guns. And yeah, that hurt. <laughs> and now the fire good thinks twice about uh, staying around. Uh, fire uh, puts up his his smoke screen, and I'll switch back to the armor piercing because there's back there is the Fiji again. Now, if I had the high explosive completely reloaded, I wouldn't have switched, but. Um, uh, given given that uh, it it was I just fired so I, uh, and the Fiji is behind an island anyway. Uh, yeah, you're broadsiding. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, I know you're cute. You like all these destroyers here that you can hunt in your Fiji, but um, there's a hood as well. Now the Fiji has torpedoes, but uh, so I might actually have to dodge a little bit. But um, uh, he goes he goes and smokes up. I don't know if he's fired his torpedoes. He's probably been busy with the destroyers back there. So I'm just casually uh, pointing my nose in just in case he did so I can do I can dodge. Oh, and there he is. He ran out of his own smoke. And he's giving that lovely broadside again. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you see, this is why um, you, you don't broadside battleships in a light cruiser. Because they do this to you. <laughs> And um, yeah, just uh, once my main guns are reloaded, I'm just reversing here in case he's got his torpedoes away. But uh, that's the end of the Fiji. Now, there are more destroyers in B Cup. We're still holding two cups. We're, uh, we're one ship ahead. Oh, now they, they've equalized. So um, that Ernst looks kind of stationary. I'm going to try to get some shots out against him, but I think they missed. Uh, let's see if I get something to shoot at again. There he is. So I'm just I'm just trying to um, to see how that would work at about eight kilometer range, but uh, like I said, only at a point at point blank. But I've got it loaded, and uh, yeah, you see they're all uh, there's a semi pen, but otherwise they're over pens. But I stick with the armor piercing because um, uh, we're still holding two of the car. Oh, we lost another destroyer. This is starting to get unpleasant. Uh, there's a Colorado. And uh, we've got a cruiser over there who's probably going to need some help. So um, let's see what we can do against the Colorado. Yes, plunging fire. <laughs> uh, at mid-range, these uh, these 380 mils are not going to do that great. But at at long and at point blank, they are going to be quite quite uh, quite nice. So the Colorado has realized that someone's shooting at him. There we get a couple of uh, semi-pens. I'm actually getting a couple of overpens. I might have hit him too far in the rear, uh, where because if it's an all-or-nothing armor, he doesn't have much armor in the in the bow and stern. So I'm gonna have to make sure he he just started moving as well. I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm hitting him in the center. So a uh, couple more shots out. Yep, yeah, that's semi-pens and full pens. Uh, well, these went everywhere. Okay. Oh, we've lost the other cup. So. Um, this is gonna get close, but there's nothing I can do about this right now because I'm in a, I'm in a brawl with a with an American battleship. So I'm putting my nose in, and um, he, he doesn't look like he's actually maneuvering. So I'm gonna try and pull pull behind his stern, and see if I can outflank him. Oh, there comes some torpedoes, but uh, the hood is a quick ship. So I'm gonna see if I can dodge them. I think that was the Anskeda probably. Uh, dodged most of them. Now, of course, I'm giving broadside to a Colorado, which is not something I like doing, but I had to make sure I'm not actually eating all these torps. And, um, oh, we've lost the cruiser as well. Oh, oh bother. 
<laughs> well, there's nothing we can do. Um, we can still sink the Colorado, but it's not going to be enough in terms of points. Until somebody, no, until somebody kills that destroyer back there. And uh, it looks like our DDs haven't really felt inclined to, to get into the cap circles. Uh, can we still sink the Colorado? Ah, time is ticking. I don't think we can still get him. No, unlucky bounce on the belt armor, and he survives with just a sliver of health. <laughs> Take uh, one more, a couple more seconds, and I would have gotten him, but it wouldn't have been enough to, to win the battle. I mean, we could have if I had a minute still, because I could have totally finished off the Fiji and then dealt with the two destroyers, but, um, well, we didn't, so I didn't. But uh, this kind of demonstrates what you want to do in a battleship. If you're faced with destroyers, you load the high explosive. Because the high explosive, as we've seen against the Faragut at the beginning, does, because it doesn't overpenetrate, high explosive can't overpenetrate, and because destroyers have no armor whatsoever to actually deflect it, it will always do full penetrations against uh, destroyers and will do large amounts of damage. So usually you do about a thousand, thousand plus points of damage per, per shell. So if you fire eight shells and yet then they all hit, then uh, you're easily doing 8,000 points of damage, which is usually which is usually about half the health a destroyer has at this tier. So they will think twice about doing that if you hit them a couple of times this way. But um, against everything else, like the Fijis, for example, uh, you will want to fire the armor piercing, unless you are in, for example, a Nelson, because the Nelson's armor piercing is terrible, and the Nelson's high explosive is very, very good. So in a Nelson, you kind of don't want to do that. But everything else... Um, you really want to you really want to go for the armor piercing and you want to try and get these citadels in so make sure if you're shooting at battleships that have uh, all or nothing armor that you are um, actually hitting actually hitting them at the, the center where the citadel sits and uh, well try plunging fire is great um, fire through the de through the deck armor is great being able to penetrate a the belt on a, on a battleship is a little bit harder so it, again, all, as usual, it depends on the caliber of your guns, it depends on what you're shooting at, and it depends on how far away it is that you're shooting it at. So just play your ships, observe the points of damage you're doing, like these little numbers, they're super important. Observe how much damage you're actually doing when, you're when, you're, when your shells are impacting, and, um, and learn this way. So that's it for today, and for this series, thanks everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.